uranium. Isn't it like a chemical? Yeah, it's like a chemical, isn't it? No, I don't know what it is. Look at the country. No. It is like, isn't it like a bit like plutonium? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it? Like some sort of explosive or something like that. Uranium? Uranium? What's that? <laughs> A nuclear uh, thing. I don't know in English what it's called. Ain't it's a nice thing, I might say. It's used for good and for bad. That's the stuff that they make nuclear nuclear stuff out of. Yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> Uranium. How you mean? We have to be really, really careful because we are dealing with uranium. On the corner here is emergency services. On the right, this is where our big medical centre is. Guns of uranium just in there in that uh, sea container. We pour that black powder into those drums. They're 34 gallon drums or 205 litre drums. And we strap each one into those sea containers individually. We put 48 in a sea container. We seal it. We put the stickers on the outside and it's ready to go down to Adelaide. No one knows enough about it, you know, especially up here. They're not familiar because all that stuff's all new stuff to, to the people that are living up within this area. And when mining companies do come in to the towns to talk about and advise the communities of, you know, what's going to happen, they don't tell you the potential dangers of that mining. They tell you all the good things that's going to happen. If you get this uranium and you bring it at the surface, the companies will make a sort of selection. The most active rocks will be sent to the uranium mill that will prepare yellow cake, uranium concentrate, but they will leave a lot of radioactive mud called tailings. Tailings are in fact uh, uh, less radioactive and less dangerous than the, the materials from which, they, from which they come because the uranium oxide, the uranium ore, has been, has been extracted. The absolute reality of tailings is that they contain 75 to 80% of the original radioactivity of the ore body.